five since we're five minutes we're five minutes late already it's minutes how dare us we're awful Ooh, scott that's a new view today yeah i actually learned how to change my camera angle um to my main monitor so Ooh, oh, yeah. fancy <clears throat> yeah i was looking from the like this angle was not ideal so i, I figured i'd be a little professional testing testing one two three Really? I think we're live. <laughs> Speaking of professional. Testing, testing. Scott, do anything fun and exciting today? No, today was probably one of the worst days of quarantine for me. <laughs> uh, I was I was forced to go uh, slave labor to go sell things. Uh, yeah, at a store. You had uh, people yell shards at you for four hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We got people. Uh, hey, Philip. We got a hey -o from a chat room. Hey. You, you were forced to sign things. That you, do you want to talk about who, who that store is so people can avoid it? No. Or are you going to be like cordial and not mention it? He doesn't want to relive the whole ordeal all over again. Yeah, I'm not give any, any credit. Uh, yeah, not unless they pay me to like actually say the name of the store. Right. At this point, I feel like I should be a. Uh, <laughs> Anytime I bring that name up, it, it, I should be getting a, a lump sum of money. Of some sort. <laughs> People are saying in the chat, Scott, more shards. Shard. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Shards, Scott. Shards. I'm, I'm just going to. I'm going to. I'm going to change my uh, my tag name to just shard. It, is shards like? Is that your confederacy? Conf, uh, confederacy of dunces? Is that like you're never going to be able to beat this one thing? I don't think so. I mean, it took a while. I mean, I, don't, I have other things, guys. I, have I know. Stuff. They no. don't know that apparently, based on pop shop today. But no, I think <laughs> I think I think everybody associates Scott Tolson to shards. That's yeah. Like, yeah. What? I want an argyle shard. Ooh, that's a good idea, actually. There's another artist that does argyle, Janky. Uh, yeah. I, Scott can't touch that. Okay. No, I think the thing with the shards is they're 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 a mini run there you know there's not a lot of them out there so i think a lot of it is like the whole the collector aspect of like you know when they drop like uh did you get one no i didn't get, and that whole like word of mouth about and and it's not intentional like i for me like when i do a, a production run i usually am like kind of like somewhat conservative uh with with the amount that i make only because of my lack of uh confidence in myself i guess i don't want to be stuck with like you know like 50 shards or something and and i don't know why i think that way because like you know especially recently they've been selling out and i'm like oh maybe i should up the quantity but i don't i, I know that if there's a time where i ever make too many of them and i'm like sitting on them it's just like disastrous for me you know like ah oh. so yeah. well know. they're they're uh, also really rad so you oh, know that helps. That helps the sales. That they're really great. People are Minor saying detail. charge is slang for meth, and so you should make a Heisenberg blue. Did you know that it's it's slang for meth? I didn't know that, but you're a liar. That's cool. You're a phony. <laughs> a big fat phony. Jeez, Ben. Ben has had a long day. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, anyway, um, hey. Welcome to another live edition of Toy Geeks <laughs> behind our desks. Um, it's just us. That's it. <laughs> like it or leave it. It's it's us. <laughs> um, the four amigos. Five amigos. The four, four amigos. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin doesn't even bother showing up anymore because he's given up on chips. So Ever since like, he got healthy and dropped Cheetos, yeah, he's out oh, of the that's picture. it. Like, what am I going to do on the show? I can't eat Cheetos, so I'm done. I'm don't talk about back. shoes. He hasn't actually said that. No, of course he hasn't said that. But His actions okay. said that. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. He's like, I'm done. I don't need you guys anymore. Yeah. I'm thin. You're all fat, except for Jack, maybe Scott, and Janky. I'm fat. Oh, no, I'm <laughs> And that's it. It's just, well, welcome to Toy Geeks. Toy Geeks. <laughs> Behind my refrigerator. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, anyway, 
Food geeks. <laughs> this is off to a roaring start. <laughs> roaring. It's going to be our best episode ever, dude. It's amazing. It's going to be incredible. Um, how's everyone doing? How's, uh, how's everyone been? Scott actually has been talking about that we have been whipping him into signing basically every single figure that we sell at 3D Retro. Uh, on Pop even Shop ones he doesn't make. Yeah, even though we just like... Yeah. Here, Scott, sign this. Andre the Giant, here, just, just sign this. Here, yeah. I know Stan Lee already signed this. Here, Scott, you signed it too. I was here. up there Here's for Here's my five. iPhone. Go ahead, Scott. Can you have sign that? I too? was up there for five hours on Tuesday. And I'm like, yeah, this will be fun. Like, I'll get to just, just like chill out and hang out and like walk around the store. I walk in the store. There's a table blocking me from going anywhere. So I'm like, oh, I guess I'm here. Like, I put my box down, and Ben's like, hey, Scott, what you got to sell? And then uh, I started selling stuff, and then like, oh, cool, you sold all that stuff. Can you sign it now? And then I have all these boxes of other things to sign. So I think, I mean, I got out of there at five, and I was like stuck at the table. I went to the bathroom twice. I don't think I spoke. And then, and then the best part is, is that after he does all that, he's like, so you want me to come back on Thursday? <laughs> no, you are the one that said to, to everyone like, hey, you guys want Scott back? And they're like, yeah. No, do not blame that on me. I didn't, you, you were I, like, well, I guess I guess I could just, what, what is the next show? I guess I could come back on Thursday and bring more stuff. I, and I'm like, not my idea to come back. I did not I mention was. coming back. I did not. I don't remember who. who I yeah, I it, was, it was over bourbon shards, which didn't even show up today. So right, and everybody was like, "Where's the bourbon yeah. shards?" That's what it was. It's because I only have one, and I said, "Well, I think I have more at home." Yeah. And then I said, "Well, I can just sell them and then drop them off tomorrow or something." And then I don't know where it got from me coming back. I mean, I, I don't. Know. Well, it, because it, we weren't we weren't going to be there the next day. Oh, okay. So I was like, oh, I'll drop them off on Thursday or something. In class, so are you like the official weekly guest now? <laughs> Every week you're going to be there, Scott? Yeah, he's coming back. We're having the next show on Monday, and he's oh, going to yeah. come back again. Shards. <laughs> Just sell Shards. more stuff. No, I, uh, no, it's funny because, um, yeah, it, it gave me an excuse to like sort of go through some boxes and like, because I, so like with conventions and then like when I get samples, like, especially with conventions, like at the end of the convention, I'll just throw all the shit in the box and like, I just dump it in the garage. Cause I'm like, I don't want to look at this stuff for a while. And then it just kind of sits there and stacks up. And then with the, I mean, I just have stuff everywhere. So, so like the good thing about designer con is I haven't gone through like older stuff, like older archive stuff. So I'll, I'll be bringing some of that stuff um, for designer con this year. Like things from like 10 plus years ago that I just had stacked up. So it'll be a good time. When you say you're bringing them to designer con, what does that mean? That means bringing them here, bring them to you guys. To Ben's house. Yeah, yeah. To, that's what I was gonna he's say. To the living room, put them inside that room that he's in right now yeah. and just sell them right there. Yeah, that's what, that's what I mean by that. Yes, exactly. And it's gonna be amazing because you won't have to drive anywhere you won't have to par pay for parking. Nope. You won't have to unload at a loading dock. Nope. You won't have to set up a booth. You'll just sit right there, sell your stuff. When you get bored, you'll turn around and play your video games. And people will actually watch you do that. And then you'll go back to selling more stuff. Yeah, I'm even thinking about doing a nap cam. So like in the Ooh. middle of the day when I get tired, I'll just set up a little camera here and I'll just be like, I'm going to take a nap for three hours if anyone wants to watch me. And then I'll be back up selling stuff. I wonder, Again, based on Pop Shop today, someone's going to show up and watch you. <laughs> yeah. Yes. There, there was a whole lot of uh, Scotty Hottie and does he have a ring on it comments going on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that's all about. I wish I could sell myself. <laughs> so know. many people. Is he married? <laughs> you're, you're the Ryan Gosling of the toy world. <laughs> right. <laughs> Already, there's people uh, <laughs> saying in chat, "Let's nap together, Scott." Uh, let's. Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> I, I will say, in in classic pop shop fashion, I showed up on uh, what Tuesday, 
to heckle yeah. Scott and ended up spending sixty dollars. So thank you, Janky. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, Janky. I just came to make fun of Scott and then spent sixty dollars. Th- I think you actually said, "That's it. I'm all done supporting Scott." <laughs> <laughs> I only bought a taco. <laughs> yeah, taco, taco. You're like, like that, but that's it. I'm done. And then I think you said something like, "Oh." damn it i want that one too well and that was because i bought like 30 dollars worth of safubi crabs earlier on the show on a whim otherwise i would have bought more from Scott. that's right we sold the the, the oh. david chung so yeah crabs which i'm excited crabs. about because those were really cool but those those very little ones that were like that big yeah yeah tiny. we were selling them what were we selling them for? 250, 250 a piece. piece whoa i saw those today and i was like what are those and yeah. i had no idea Nice. So what ended up happening with those is that we made we made the yellow and orange ones that we sold years ago in a pack. If, Jack, you probably remember. We took them like to San Diego Comic-Con. And then because we made them, Scott, you probably understand this. We made them with Luke over in Japan. Yeah. All of a sudden, we just get like all these colors. Just one day, just a box yeah. full of colors. Like years later, oh my God, there's, later? Ones, there's red ones, there's orange ones. Like what happened? Like there's brown ones, there's dark brown ones, there's gray ones. There's one where the vinyl isn't even cleaned off of it. It's just there. Now, usually we get this and we're like, we don't know what the hell to do with this. We can't like put these online. We can't list them. But now that we have Pop Shop, we're like, okay, guys, we've got these um you know we're gonna sell them we're gonna sell them to you at a good price you know let them go and the fans got really well priced so fubi figures out of it well and they're cool like there's I, i'd never seen that sculpt and for 250 like it was like all right well i'll buy one to have it and then when i saw the skittle colors and then it was 250 and then i was like well now i want all of them right and then the one that had like there's one that had like that much flashing under it and i was like well i want the one that looks like it's a ufo so and i ended up getting that one like did you get that one jake yeah i got that one the 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 gray one with the long yeah it was okay because you know your order didn't have it in it what well yeah that's that's good i'm glad um I'm glad you told me that um, because I'm going to go ahead and um, tell Kenny that because we were wondering. Yeah, I, I won that one, the, the win with the weird long. It's the gray one, right? Yes. Yeah. This is what everybody came to Toy Geeks to do is watch me finalize my orders. <laughs> <laughs> Scintillating. We can go through the list of stuff I'm having Ben hold for me too. Do you guys want to do that? <laughs> hey, ben, can, you, can you share uh, Janky's receipt? with us too as well so i'm sure especially everyone... the payment section the debit card number, number? Yeah, yeah it's going to disappoint a lot of people when they try to run that one <laughs> well i'm glad you told me because, well that's actually like one of the bugs that we're we found for pop shop is that sometimes when people are ordering things when we get the order slip um we we don't see like the order slip will be missing an item Ooh. so sometimes when we tell people like or when people tell us, like, I didn't get this in my shipment, it's because Pop Shop forgot to put it in their order slip. So Uh-oh. Uh, but we're, we're having that problem fixed. And it's a good thing that we're, we're finding these little bugs now because we want all of this, of course, fixed and resolved by, um, by designer, clearly. So we're more than happy to play the guinea pig and like resolve any bugs that we find along the way just to make sure that everything's okay. You know, yeah, I'd rather sure. do that. So it's all good. So enough blab. blab. <laughs> Did you guys buy any new toys? Other than Pop Shop? Other than Pop Shop? <laughs> Are we already in that part of the... the... Yeah, we're humming right along here. Yeah, I have her stuff. I don't know. Do you have... I did... I don't know if you saw, but we, we did sell this. Mm, we talked you. about this on the last mm-hmm. episode, Scott, but we sold yeah, it. You sold them for 20 bucks, too. I was like, dude. Yeah. Because I'm like, screw you, Scott. No, I mean, <laughs> those are like secondhand market now. I'm, I don't I'm sure they're like at least 35, something like that. Because so they're sold out everywhere, right? Yeah. As far and as we, yeah. So retail was supposed to be $24.99, and we sold them for $19.99, or just yeah. like $20 even. Because that's what we do. But it's awesome. It is awesome. It's pretty cool. 
Are those cases going to get scratched up? That was the one thing I was worried about with that. No, no, no. Yeah, they're pretty good. And since we're talking about that, um, I, mean, I take everything out of the case anyway, so there's no reason for me to buy that. But so no. I, got, I got the carbonized Vader. Oh, that's cool. Ooh. Yeah. All right. So are you guys <laughs> are you guys hoping to get anything from the um, Star Wars celebration releases that are happening this weekend? This weekend. I didn't even know about that. <laughs> didn't either. <laughs> Guess what? Um, we have a segment now. What's coming up from Star Wars Celebration? Well, Star Wars Celebration, I'm sure Jack knows a lot about it too. Star Wars Celebration I was do. supposed to happen this weekend. Yeah. Right. Uh, Scott had bought tickets for all of us, and we were all going to go together and have drinks and nerd out and pretend it's the cantina. Look at me, I'm at the cantina. We were going to carry down gown. Right, exactly. But then all the idiots in Orange County decided to not wear masks, and now. It's not happening. So um, people people are basically doing what they do, what they did for San Diego Comic Con, which is all the figures that they were planning on releasing for Star Wars Celebration are now going to be released online. Funko being the biggest one, they have an entire collection of uh, Funko Pops that they're going to be releasing, including a ten inch Funko Pop of a Stormtrooper and um, some other just. Oh, oh, the uh, Ralph McQu Ralph McQu yeah, yeah, I saw those today. I saw those come yeah, up. Yeah, the Ralph, Mc is it Macquarie? Macquarie. Yeah, Macquarie, yeah. yeah. Macquarie. Those look awesome. I know. That's so, like, yeah. Uh, it, like, I'm, I'm sort of over, I know I say this all the time, but I'm over Pops, but then something like that comes out, and the, the way they exaggerated the details from the Macquarie drawings, like, brought, like, a whole new life to them without making them feel foreign or, or weird. I yeah. really like those designs. I thought those were really cool pieces. So yeah, so of course, you know, Funko's going to have that. And then I believe there's um, some Tiki mugs and then Star Wars Celebration themselves also announced that they will be having a whole bunch of um, Star Wars Celebration exclusives. So, um, cool. uh, Jack, did you, did you report anything about some of the stuff? Uh, what was that? <laughs> Did you, did no. you report about any of the No, although that, that McQuarrie sounds awesome. I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to see um so there is exclusive merchandise and I believe that um if you so I'm going to I'm going to switch over here to the sharing so you guys can see some of the stuff that um that I'm talking about since none of you know what I'm talking about. Um, Janky does. I knew about Janky, one. Yeah, Janky kind of knows. Um, so if you go on to the Star Wars Celebration website, uh, there's a whole section for exclusive merchandise. They are selling right now, um, or actually launching tomorrow. I'm sorry, tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific time, they will be selling pin set one, um, pin set two, basically all these pins, right? Um, so that's, that's from their stuff. And then I believe, let me see here if they have any more stuff, start shopping. Um, yeah, so they have the Tiki already there. That's oh, the that's Tiki cool. Gold, which is an ad app. They have the 40th anniversary t-shirts that are all, all available. The 40th anniversary hats, the suction cup plush. The Tauntaun plush with removable Frozen Luke Skywalker. <laughs> uh, there is a 40th anniversary metal tin, which is kind of something that I really want. Uh, tons more t-shirts, of course. And then there's a pin set and t-shirt combos, which are basically the pin sets that you guys saw on the other page with an exclusive t-shirt. I like that it looks like it's the two pin sets they don't think are going to sell as well as the Probe Droid, Chewbacca, and Han Solo pin set. Well, this one, I, yeah, I mean, but the Star Wars, you know, the Mandalorian one, this one has a Mandalorian and That's IG. true, an IG-11, yeah. Yeah, like, why wouldn't, why wouldn't this one sell? I'm not saying it won't sell. I'm just saying the other one's going to sell better. Yeah. Right, right. So, 
and then um, some of the other stuff, like if you guys take a look, let me see here. Um, the Star Wars collections, if you guys haven't seen. So as usual, Funko is going to be doing shared exclusives and um, they're going to have with Amazon, Target, FYE, GameStop. And these are the only two that are going to be the most sought after, which is, you know, the Funko shop ones. And of course, they have the McGuire, um Boba Fett as a Funko shop exclusive. Uh, but the Darth Vader one you can get from GameStop. But either way, all of these things are going to be like sold out in seconds. Um, because they already are, are, right? What is it? Like the Funko ones dropped today, right? The pops, oh, it looks like. Not all of them, I don't think. I think. The oh, really? I, I know the Chewbacca dropped today because I went and looked to see if the Vader was up. And the yeah. only one that was available is the Chewbacca. So I don't know if that changed throughout the day. Or if it was only the Chewbacca that dropped today, but that one Let's was see. that one dropped earlier. If today. we click on GameStop, I don't, I don't think it's up yet. So I think it's all tomorrow. Tomorrow is when it's all happening. So there you have it, guys. That's that's the Funko stuff that's going on. Uh, but you know there are other things. I'm pretty sure there's other companies out there that are also doing. Um, that you know basically taking their star wars exclusives and dropping them on online somewhere through their online store or something like that so yeah um for celebration if you defer your tickets to uh was it 2022 now yeah this year? i don't remember 2022 yeah yeah but you uh if you do that you, they send you a exclusive pin too so really uh, yeah oh, nice yeah, so if you don't get a refund and you defer it, then they send you the, I don't know if it was the pin for this year or what, but they like they tell you that we'll send you a pin. Um, so that's kind of fun. I mean, that's cool. Is that what you ended up doing, Scott? Yeah. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, because I, I mean, I know, yeah, because I know that I'll go anyway. So it's like, well, I'll just... I'll just wait, wait it out. But, you, but you're literally going to have to wait until 2022, two years. Mm -hmm. That part's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's ridiculous. That's the year that all the, con all the conventions are going to come back. So Is that the year? Because we're coming, Decon's coming back 2021. I no, know. I, heard, I heard no conventions until 2022 is what, that's what they're saying now, so. I hate you so much right now. But you're in November 2021, so it could that you could take right. the season. I mean, for for Scott, that's basically 2022. <laughs> right. Look, right. none of us are going to be able to read a calendar by 2022 anyway. No. We're all gonna, no, time is time I, is a I, construct. I've, I've forgotten how to tell time already. <laughs> yeah. I'm already that that far off. Like that's I don't. I've stopped wearing a watch. But you have all. a DeLorean, so it doesn't matter. Right. I have I have my time machine. Yeah. Right. 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 Oh, right there, guys. Hey, right. speaking of which, Ben, can I ask you a question about something that Kevin posted on his Instagram today? What did he post? <laughs> he posted a picture of some skate decks in the shape of DeLoreans. Did he post that? Yeah. Was he not supposed to? Am I not supposed to bring this up? Well, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You know, sometimes I think we should really all play poker with Ben. <laughs> I figured it was in his stories. It was fair game. Uh, please chat, disregard the last question. Do you We're understand all going that over he's not now. supposed to be showing anything right now in that regard? Uh, like, I got the decks and we got the decks in the store. Like, they sent it to me and I'm like, I wonder if we should like show it to like, like maybe like sneak peek it to the pop shop guys, just kind of like, because it's a live thing. And, you know, it's like, it's just like, Hey guys, look quick. And, and he's like, no, 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 you can't do that. You can't do that. But Who I'll said post it on my that. Instagram. He needs I'll put it on my Instagram for everybody to see, because it will give me two extra followers. I messaged him. I was like, bro, dude, what are those? Ridiculous. He laughed. Yeah. All right. Well, what were other, did you say he's posted other Back to the Future toys? Too janky? You said they posted some other like Back to the Future stuff. 
did I say? I don't, remember. I don't think I said that. Oh, you were telling me before this. Oh, before this. Yeah, yeah that yeah. one thing. He was like, don't tell Ben because he's going to get mad. Oh, he was talking about the Back to the Future shard. It's the flux capacitor shard that he nice. posted. Yeah. Shard capacitor. <laughs> This show is full of misinformation. That that guy, like he, he does, he like he knows what he's not supposed to do, but it's like it'll give me another follower, so it's okay. Look, I, I've, it. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Kevin hates making money. It's just <laughs> and you should, you should like write him up, like a legit write up, and pull Ooh. him in the office. That'll and, get him like, followers. Pull out a Kevin folder and like put it in there, but like keep it totally professional. Like um. You might want to sit down for this. Yeah, you might want to sit, <laughs> sit down. Sorry, Kevin. I didn't mean to get you in trouble, but you did put it on your story, and I thought it was fair game. So <laughs> I'm going to text him right now. What else did Kevin do, Janky? Uh, look, I don't know. Kill a cat in an alley somewhere, probably. <laughs> He's given away the ingredients of the McDonald's secret sauce. He's uh... poor Kevin. <laughs> He's not here to defend himself. <laughs> That's the problem. He, he's not here to defend himself. Ben's texting him right now. Take that off. Uh, yeah. yeah, I am. It's actually not that All revealing. 16 of our viewers right now are going to his Instagram. I'm like, ooh, let's see. Let's see what's going on. There's a Back to the Future forum somewhere, and they're like posting it up there. There's a Back to the Future skate forum that is blowing <laughs> up right now. There's like three members in there. The like, lawyers yeah. are furiously looking through their oh, Deck to the Future contacts for Ben's phone number. <laughs> Sued. Oh, wow. I just ruined this episode of Pop or of uh, Pop Shop. <laughs> Thanks for <laughs> joining us, everyone. Ah! <sighs> oh, my gosh. Hey, Ben, what'd you buy this week? <laughs> Let's talk about the stuff that I got. Um, I actually, you know what? I'm going to start with, with this thing because it wasn't even something that I was expecting. I didn't even buy it. I just got it um, as a gift. Mm. This is from Underverse. Oh, cool. Do you know what Underverse is, Jack? Do you want to tell them? Yeah, Ashley, it's Ashley Wood's new company after he His stopped doing company. 3A. Oh, cool. So, new logo, Underverse, where it looks very familiar to the <laughs> previous logo. Um, but I got this box. I was very surprised. It comes with stickers inside of it. Um, nice packaging, Underverse. And it's, it's literally, I think it just says like friends and family. Inside, you open it up. And there's like a little book, actually a big book. And it's kind of like, you know, it says Astro 1.1, thank you, set booklet. You guys oh, cool. see that. And it's, it's like a book with really cool art. Um, yeah, it's just like, just like uh, Ashley Wood art comes with foam inside. Sorry, it's falling all over the place, you guys. Set this down. And then little baggy. And when you open up the bag, you will see that it is a very nice Astro Boy. Oh, cool. Nice. But all like chromed out. Nice. Which is really, really freaking cool. So, um, nice. What do you guys think? Looks cool. We're going to put this up right now on Pop Shop for only. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, wrong, wrong live show, guys. We only have one. No, this is. Uh, but it's this Pop is Shop, so we're selling it for cost. <laughs> Uh, I got this as a gift, so um, uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sell this. Clearly, I'm, I'm actually gonna keep this. I do like. I do like this a lot. I like Ashley Wood stuff. I have a whole collection of World War robots and um, all kinds of stuff that he did. I have the cowboys and the dog. I mean, hell, I have a life-size Ashley Wood dog in the office. 
and that's as right. well as robot cool. head, which we I think we opened up on a previous show. So I thought this was pretty cool. I think this is kind of just like, uh, hey, we're coming back. We're here. Don't we're is here. That, is that like a new iteration of it in the, or is that sort of Ashley's interpretation of Astro Boy? Because the sort of the head shaping and the. Yeah, it's his it's his character, okay. Astro Lab. Astro Lab. Yeah. Okay, cool. Astro, not Astro. I really, I really dig the design on it. And it's chromed out, so it's hard to sort of I mean, I think the chrome on it's gorgeous. It's hard yeah. to sort of see all the detail and quite what it would look like. Is it vinyl, color. Ben? It is. It is okay. vinyl. Wow. Um it's impressive. It's very light. Um, very light vinyl. Um, but it's definitely like clearly you can see it's very nicely electroplated. Yeah. And um, just a nice, clean, you know, chromed out. Is it electroplated or is it spray chromed? I think it's electroplated. Okay. Not I mean, looks that's, electroplated, yeah. That's pretty clean. Yeah. Those both sound like band names, by the way. Electroplated. <laughs> electroplated and spray chromed. Spray chromed. Or I thought you meant that's pretty clean. Also a band. That's their oh, album. Okay. Electroplated. Heard of that's pretty clean. Awesome. <laughs> I like their first album better. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so there's that. And then um, I got another thing here, which I, which I did order. And uh, I didn't get both figures. I did get the main guy. I got the new... Louise de Guzman. Oh, nice. Oh, sweet, Bob. Um, I have the Bart. The Bart is in my office. Oh, God, it's a box in a box. It's a box in a box. The Bart is Elevate, right? I think that's what it's called. I believe so. And this one, what? what's... Now, the thing is, this one is with a... It's a collaboration with Jay Baldwin. Yep. Which I kind of, kind of find it strange. That's like that because I, I feel like it didn't need to be that. So this is pretty cool, the way the box is. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, but you basically, this is the box that comes in the box, right? And so you lift the top, and then this comes down uh -huh. and figure. Oh, neat. That's a cool really looking cool. figure. That's way bigger than I thought it was, too. So, you know, I will tell you, it looks it looks amazing in person. Like, I know a lot of the time, like, especially figures like this, where it's like the jacket edges and all that stuff, the pictures never do it justice. So... Even just the paint application is pretty great on it, though. I mean, it's simple, but it's yeah, it's, it's very really nice. Clean. Yeah, very clean. As I you dig can it. See. Oh yeah, it's. What was nice. the retail? Come with the base. There is a base to it because clearly, I don't think this thing would stand without the base. It's kind of heavy. Ben, uh, what was the what was the retail on that piece? I want to say it was either three or four hundred, but um, I already I believe it's already going on StockX for like, you know, twice the amount, if not three times, uh, because you know they sold out. And he did do a Patrick. There is a Patrick also, um, but both of them, both pieces. Sorry, picking up stuff here. I uh, couldn't even oh, get the Patrick. Seriously. I just wanted to, because I didn't want to spend twice as much money. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not a huge SpongeBob fan. All I needed was I a little Supreme logo, and Ben would have been like, oh. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> um, no, but I am, I am a Luis de Guzman fan. And um, that's funny. So, that this was inside the box. Warning adult collectible, uh, which is fine. And then on the other side, it actually has all the information, like, like almost like one of those things attached to a painting, like edition of 500, 2019. Right. And it has the official Nickelodeon Viacom copyright on it. So, so you know, it's real. 
legit. <laughs> cool. Um, I have one more thing, uh, but I don't know, like, if anybody else has something that they want to talk I, about first. I have something, but you could do yours. I mean, I think we have plenty of time. All right. Phil says they were actually 350. I'm sorry. So I was kind of right. It was in between there. Um, I got this. This is from Secret Base and Billionaire Boys Club, the clothing brand. So when last time I was in Japan, which was, God, it was like February, January, February. Um, Billionaire Boys Club had just released then in Japan a collaboration with um, Andre, the artist, Andre. Um, and, uh, you know, they, they did a whole collab on clothing with the artist. Um, and they didn't have this figure then, otherwise I probably would have bought it in Japan. I wonder if you can, you probably could. So this is Japanese Sofubi clearly cause it's secret base. Um, but I really didn't expect it to be this freaking huge. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea it was that big. It's massive. Like you can't tell by the pictures on the website, but it is, it's so big. So what it is, it's the, you can't really tell on the, uh, but it's the it's Mr. A. Boy Club face. Mm -hmm. the astronaut. And then inside is I'm trying to get it to, <laughs> but inside is the Andre face the andre uh ball and they had three different colors they had like a purple one and i i i just really like the way the image looked for this green and red one and they are pretty expensive or else i probably would have bought all of them i think they went close to like i want to say like 200 dollars for this maybe hmm. maybe a little bit less um but I think for the for the size of this thing, it's totally worth it. Totally worth it. You know, can nice. You, I mean, can you open it up? You know, aside from like heating it up and popping the bottom off, does it? Because it feels like it should open. Maybe so you. Yeah, could I think bit. you could. I think you. I think you could pop pop this open. Like you probably could like heat it up because yeah. it is. So fubi surgery. Yeah, but it is so fubi surgery. It's like. Oh, there. Oh, there. Okay. You got it. Nailed it. Don't yeah. move now. Touch yeah. Now it's Forever. Like... <laughs> Forever. <laughs> it's like one of, those, uh, one of those toy puzzles where you try and get it. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I'm probably just going to put it in my case just like this. Um, but this is great. I love this. And I'm so happy that I was actually able to purchase it in the U.S., when I was so like, oh God, you know, I saw it in Japan, like they were, they were releasing it. And of course, all the clothing, nothing in my size, because they go up to extra large in Japan, which is actually a large US. <laughs> Wait, you mean the sizes are smaller for clothes in Japan? Yes. <laughs> yes, Jeff. Very much. I had no idea. Yeah, you knew. You knew. But I got it. Awesome. So it is awesome. really cool. It really it's cool. A good I, would, I would say, I mean, if they if they do release any more of these, or if you can find these, and you like the the artist, and I mean, I like Billionaire Boys Club, and I like Andre, even though I did, I I do still think of him as a dick for what we what he did to the national parks. That was oh, a really bad move Joshua on. Tree, right? Yeah, really bad move on his end. Like, dude, asshole, really. Like, how do you really feel? I, I hated him for it. I still kind of do. I appreciate his art and I appreciate all that. But like, dude, like that was that was effed up. That was really effed up what he did. Do you yes. guys know? Did you guys hear about that? Yeah, Years yeah he ago? sprayed on a rock, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was like one of the one of the just rocks in the in, you know, all of the stuff there is protected, like you're not supposed to cut down trees. You're not supposed to vandalize anything. And of course, he's like, I'm an artist. I get to draw my figure in the rock. So, 
Yeah, I didn't. I really didn't like that that he did that. I had forgotten about that. Actually, well, I did not. I did not forget about that. Clearly not. That really pissed me off. Do you know? Is that a, like a limited collaboration between the two, or do you think Billionaire Boys Club is going to do more with their sculpt and putting other? Because honestly, of the two pieces, the Billionaire Boys Club headpiece is the piece that I find more impressive. Like, I like the subtle sculpt of the face. I like the sculpt of the helmet. You know, if they're smart, they probably you know the fact that they have two separate molds for the head and then what's inside. If they're smart, I would say they should do collaborations. Yeah, with a bunch of other artists. people. I would be interested to see what else they would you know. Yeah. Do but with at that. the same time, they're they're Japanese, and they're very much about like limited, right, exclusive. That's it. Yeah, right. know, yeah. which is what I love. I love that. But um, at the same time, like yeah, like who knows? Who knows? They might. They might. They might not. So, there you go. Cool. Yeah. I have something else. What's up? so this just came out it's an, i mean it's the new black series uh luke and so I, I just got this yesterday but what i already like about it is the yoda looks size appropriate yeah um the proportions look more right on with the movie like I, there's been at least uh three other releases of yoda before this in the black series and they're all too big um so this one is smaller and it comes with the backpack and like uh, apparently it has the hand, the flat hand, so you can balance the Luke if you want. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it, it's got the photo tech real uh, Luke face on it. So yeah, if you ever hear like toy, like Hasbro people or toy people talking about Luke Skywalker characters, apparently his likeness is the hardest to, to nail. Um, you know more than like any other actor or whatever in, in the star wars universe so is it because he changes every in every movie you know i don't really know the reason why um but like this one they did a, it's hard to tell because of the glare but this one like the likeness is pretty pretty good on it oh yeah that is really good actually. that is good yeah actually yeah that is good yeah so uh, even the hot toys one the one that they made for episode seven, like, yeah, it's. I don't know. I don't know if it's because he's his features are so like unique because like we've been looking at him for so long. Like we can't forgive the little like blemishes or whatever. Um, I don't know what I don't know what it is. It's weird. I can't, I've got the Hot Toys episode six one up there. I'm trying. It's pretty good. I'd get it down, but I'm lazy. Uh, <laughs> I could. I mean, it's not new. Do we want to do a face comparison between Hot Toys and Black Series? No, no, no. Uh, no. Who has the? How much did that set cost, Scott? So this was forty bucks, thirty nine ninety nine. It's it's considered a deluxe figure, so those go. You know, those are more than the average, like twenty dollar price point. Oh, four. Yeah. So I, I've already watched a review on it, and apparently the Yoda is like super articulated and everything um and and the yoda face even looks better than the original one. Oh, and the other thing you can't see it in the package but it comes with another yoda head but it's a closed eye yoda so he can like oh cool can you put your shot the child what black series next to it and it's yeah tail? Check this out. <laughs> so look at okay look at that that's a good point. Look at the size. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, yes. So these are both the Black Series. Yeah. But look at how tiny even the Baby Yoda is compared to regular Yoda. That's crazy. Child he is. Yes. Don't call me Baby Yoda. <laughs> and, and he uh. is the father. <laughs> <laughs> this was purchased on Pop Shop Live, by the way. Yay! <laughs> awesome. Thank you for your support. Yeah. Those are my uh, scoops. Scoops of the week. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Ooh, ooh, Jack, you got anything? Oh, Did yeah. You anything new? Yeah. So I think people think I've been lying because every week in the past you were like, Did you buy anything? Yes, but it's not here yet. Oh. Um, so this came a little while ago, a few weeks ago, and this is 
Uh, let's see here. This is Matsuko. Oh, nice. It's uh, by Chappelle. He goes by Where Chappelle on Instagram. He also has Mahalo Cabin, which is sort of his official store. And this is almost 12 inches tall. Um, he's really made a name for himself of doing stylized interpretations of comic book characters and uh, you know, like Wolverine, he did the driver and cool stuff like that. But this is, as far as I know, really his only original figure, uh, Matsuko. And this is the second version, the first, uh, second skull. The first one that he's done a lot of is just Matsuko. And this is Hi-Ho Matsuko. And she has the ax kind of slung over her shoulder. The original, she was just wearing um, like Carhartt, um overalls and not much else and uh the axe was in like a stump but anyway it's pretty cool and this is like the skull version his work is so good yeah do you have any of it i don't i follow him and every time he puts up a new thing i just drool but i never like when he was doing spider-man and then miles he's really great with he, he's really good at changing his colorways in yeah. such a way that it feels like a totally different figure, even though he's recycling his sculpts, you know, for the different versions of the figure. So Definitely. his Miles Morales Definitely. is the same as the Spider-Man sculpt-wise, but it feels like a completely different figure. He's so I actually, right. I actually own two of his pieces. Ooh. Well, you do. Which ones do I you do. have? I have, I have, of course, the Marty. Mm -hmm. Okay. He did a Back to the Future Part 2 Marty, where he actually made the hoverboard with uh, really strong magnets. So he's, he can stand, like there's magnets in the feet and there's magnets in the hoverboard, the opposite. And so when you put the figure on the hoverboard, it really stays on there. The bottom, what he did was he made the bottom of the hoverboard, you know how it has those two discs? Those are actually the magnets. Oh, nice. Because the discs are gray anyway, they look fantastic. The other figure that he did, which I really liked, was also Back to the Future related and it was Mickey Mouse as marty i remember that that Mickey was cool Carter. i don't know if i saw that one. Oh, that's cool yeah i remember oh, yeah. that it was a really i was like i remember he announced it and he was like this is the date and this is the time and i'm like i need to get this like i'm going to be like camping on my phone because sometimes this stuff sells out really quick sometimes so yeah. i was really happy that i got that one are those resin or the yeah. resin. resin. Yeah, and the other fun thing he does, fun, uh, it is fun, but I suppose it's frustrating to collectors too, is so he often, a lot of the time, does like these like cool one-offs of one of his existing figures with a crazy paint job, and he'll just kind of put it on his website, and whoever sees it gets it, you know, yeah. wants to buy it, buys it. And so those just appear like right away. So if you see it on Instagram, it's almost always sold. <laughs> Yeah, his stuff is really cool. Um, if you guys see this, he's also he's also based in the UK. Yeah, he is. Yes, yeah. So this is some of the new stuff he's working on now. Is this his character as the superheroes, Jack? No, I mean that's just it's Harley the sculpt. Quinn, basically, it's this, no, the, these ones. Right, yeah, it's the sculpt of his character, is just it? dressed up. Yeah. Oh yeah, these are these are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Sorry, yeah. the ones in the middle are. Yes, absolutely. Uh, is, he work, is he working on something? Oh, oh another like one. Oh my god. Yeah. And I mean it's a very stylized work that he does. Look at that. The fight club figures. Yeah, he has a lot of cool stuff. It's been Captain cool America's pretty neat too. Cool to watch him sort of evolve uh over time too, because he used to, like it's always been very stylized, but you're watching his style refine and refine and refine and I don't know. He's just one of those accounts. If you're not following it, like it's worth following and going way back and looking. Because I mean, look at that. Even it's the, really amazing. Even the Bart Simpson. So he That's really good. He does these all himself and then paints them as well. Like hand paints them himself. Everything. Yeah. Everything is hand done by him. It's really cool. Look at all the the Boba Fett's that he did. Well, Boba, so Django, funny. Mandalorian really good stuff so very impressed by his work always very impressed by his work yeah i'm happy to finally have a piece yeah ah there it oh is. there it is yeah i never saw that one that's cool. that piece oh, is... i've seen that yeah 
It is it is one of one of the favorites, one of my favorites. This was released what seventy eight weeks ago. That there you go. <laughs> and uh, Jakey Toys liked it. Oh yeah, that's so good. All right, well, so apparently I did see it and don't even remember it. This is awesome. <laughs> Jakey liked it. <laughs> Jakey liked it. This is why I'm not a reporter. <laughs> It's all right. That's Jake. awesome. If I like something on Instagram, I'm probably just doing it this. So, you know, don't take any of it too personally. Oh. Every shard I've liked of Scotch has just been like, whatever. I don't, whatever. I don't like anything of mine ever. I'm just saying. <laughs> I haven't? That's oh not good. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, any other purchases, guys? I got a ver another Scrooge McDuck Tiki mug variant. I don't know if you want to see that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> all right it's the gold plated <laughs> one so this is the time of the show where we visit our favorite website <laughs> but we don't really visit the website oh no, you're supposed to talk about the website and then jack goes why don't we right, just right. our favorite website vinyl pulse this is all getting so complicated but now. really we don't really go to the website because jack really doesn't like his website so we're gonna go to vinyl pulse's instagram page and Yay. talk about things that you Jack know likes. that Jack talks about. Here we go, everybody. Welcome to Vinyl Pulse. Hopefully, you guys follow them. They're at Vinyl Pulse. The the guy behind the scenes, Jack. Um, so a lot of cool new stuff, Jack. Uh, yeah. Is there anything that? Uh, well, so you know, I think I think the the first one is kind of cool. If you're into a wood awakening, which you know is ha ha, ha uh, yeah. juice cases version of Pinocchio. So in February they did one called the Donkey Edition, which is pretty mm -hmm. much what you see is this first figure, yes. uh, but it had a yellow outfit. But what's cool about this one is this is the Donkey BFF Edition, and it has the little cricket uh, that mimics Pinocchio like in every way from the ears on down. <laughs> nice. That's awesome. Which is pretty cool. And the interesting thing is uh, it's only $10 more versus the previous version. So for $10 extra dollars, you get the little three inch. Cricket. Oh, wow. Hmm. I wonder, do you think they'd sell the, for the people that already have Wood Awakening, um, that they'd sell the Jiminy Cricket separately? I have no idea. Day? Yeah, I was going to have no idea. I would love to just have the Jiminy by itself. I think they should. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty yeah, cool, right? Dollar for ten, but probably more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what what is this figure right here? Which one? <laughs> no justice, no peace. Oh yes, so this is by an artist called Mad Steez, Mark Paul Darren. He's done a lot of stuff with Nike. That's the original painting, if you look at it. Um, and this That's is cool. done by a company called Unique Board. And their thing is kind of interesting. So they work with artists to, you know, translate paintings into, or 2D art into 3D art toys or art objects, but they use a 3D printed plaster process with like a matte wax finish. I've mm. never actually seen one in person, but they're doing some neat stuff. So every once in a while I post it. That paint so these paint are like, awesome. these are pretty much like printed one off mm -hmm. and then yep. hand painted. Yeah, I mean, they're limited editions. They're like editions of, they vary, but this is an edition of 20. And wow. it's a as you order it edition in a sense. Like, I wonder how much make them gonna, as you order them. Do you, do you know how much it's going to sell for? I, I do. It's pretty expensive. Uh, they're $400. Wow. Size yeah. on it, do you know? Uh, you know, I don't remember. Shame on me. Uh, they, there's one, they're not. You know, I remember holding a hand, maybe like six inches, something in that range. Six inches. Nice. Well, yeah. I mean, it's just kind I, of a unique, interesting thing. If you go I, to their website, they um, have a lot. They work with a lot of artists. They've done some really nice stuff. Nice. Uh, let's talk about these for a second. Those are This rad. is an interesting thing. Oh, yes. That great so, wave. The Kid Robot uh, collaboration with the Met. The Met. Museum. Wow. I love this, and I'm com I'm pissed off that I I didn't get these offered to me at wholesale <laughs> because I <laughs> well, want these you're so not much. Kid Robot or the Met, so don't be that upset. I know, I know. Um, but I love the fact that they're doing this. 
um, you know, just, yeah, just great artists. And um, I think Hokusai, Van Gogh, Mondrian. Yeah, yeah. Um, what do you guys think? The wave is unbelievably good. Yeah, the great, the great wave one is awesome. That, I, I think I'm gonna pick that one up. Yeah. Do you think the boxes they come help? in are pretty cool too? Yeah, the Van Gogh. I'm so digging. I need to see that one bigger because I like it, but it's at that angle. It's sort of hard to see how it's uh, applied. You know, like what shape it takes around the the form. Yeah. Um, I like. I mean, I like you. The cool thing about these is you look at them, even if it's not like a direct interpretation of a painting, you know exactly what artist it's referring to immediately. Which which yep. I, oh, yeah. I think is really cool. Yeah. Um, and Van Gogh, like that's you know that's something you could you can paint swirl that and make it a mess really quick, you know. Yep. Um, yeah, yeah I, I dig them. I think it's cool. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I definitely want to see these in person. Yeah. Because I mean, they look great in the photos. I'm sure they look great, but it's a pretty ambitious thing to do. But what's what's yeah. really cool about these is that um, so like you know they sell if they sell them in the museum or whatever, like you don't even have to like Dunnies or even know what a Dunny is. Right. Like, you can buy right. One at home. And like put it in your display and like no one's gonna you know it, it's just a cool form with like you know the reinterpreted painting on it well and anytime you can bridge like a new audience into toys i'm all for it you know yeah. so having the museum <laughs> audience be like oh what's this and like digging deeper some of them might find stuff they really like um so these are i think these are closer looks at them yeah from that's cool the kid robot i love that that is cool that is awesome i love that love 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 it yeah and you know you can see this kind of as an extension of the stuff they've been doing with 20th century artists like basquiat yeah and herring and warhol right it kind of fits into that a little bit and so maybe we'll see more of this using it more as a canvas I hope for so. existing art. Yeah. I, mean, I like that it's, again, it's like, it is pretty literal, but they're still taking interpretive, like creative choices with where they place it and how they're doing it. I mean, they could have done the wave like on the belly, you know, instead of have it wrapping all the way around <laughs> right. the figure, you know, like it's really taking the art into consideration. I really like that. Yeah, no, these are great. Um, do you guys think this will help because you know clearly, at at one time, oh, I guess they're on sale already. Yeah, they are. Oh, that's awesome. So I need to get on that. <laughs> um, do you guys think this will help? Um, you know, Kid Robot get back to because they used to be like. I mean, there's no secret. Like, Kid Robot used to be a lot more popular in the day. Um, and then they kind of lost their steam and now they're trying to get back and they're doing a lot of lot more stuff back to the art scene which is fantastic do you think this is you know i mean you can even tell this is the kid robot feed and you can see like artists artist stuff you know you don't see i mean itchy and scratchy okay i get it um <laughs> but, that's really uh, well done by the way i like you that. know and this this was just a this was just a freaking catastrophe. That's uh, that's very really jarring to see on that feed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, um, yeah. <laughs> just yeah. I, I mean, beats. it's like you know. So sometimes they do something so amazing like this, and then sometimes they do so something so horrible as that. And it's like, do you do you? I hope that this kind of fixes their image in the art scene. You know, what do so, you guys think? I, I sort of get the feel that it's sort of my opinion that, yeah, I mean, I think it'll help, but uh, I, I mean, it's certainly more appealing than some of the other things that they maybe have done. Though I think a lot of what they release is pretty cool. Uh, it's more tends to be more pop culture entertainment licenses, but I think that's where their real focus is. And if you look at their releases and the pace of their sort of art toy releases, that's definitely slowing down. And I assume that will continue to be the case, but I don't really do know 100%. What do you, what I like do you it. Guys, what's your guys' thoughts on this? This is also Kid Robot. I actually like it. I, I think it's it. cool. I like it too, yeah. 
Yeah. I, I, I really like this. I mean, I know that back in the do- back in the day, Toy 360, which I think is ne- you know now Toy Cube. Um, no, those are two separate companies. Are they? Well, I yeah. I mean, so were they 360 by- Toy Group was yes. Jay Kwan, and you know Keith Poon owns Toy Cube. Okay, so but Keith was involved with that company. To some I mean, extent, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And they made Andy Mouses. They did. Which are which were really good. I mean, <laughs> damn, those Andy Mouses were fantastic. And you know now Metacon is making the small Andy Mouse in their blind box sets, um, and you know this is this is clearly different. So I'm also excited to see this one out. You know I I don't care. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get this one too. What's the size on this one? And then when is it supposed? It's a pre-order. So do we know when? Yeah. It's- we, I am not sure when it's coming out. So one of the things is that for a while, you know, you probably know Scott Kid Robot was really pushing pre-orders as like a strategy, having retailers offering pre-orders for stuff way in advance, right? Months, yeah. like a quarter in advance. And then they were like, oh, no, 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 we're not doing that anymore. And they've kind of sort of unofficially are like, yeah, pre-orders, you can do pre-orders. So I I haven't like grilled a retailer, so I'm not sure when these are coming out. Kid Robot has not like posted about these. It's just retailers that have posted them so far. Yeah. And I do it's not so remember cool. the size. I can look it up for you though. I can tell you I'm really excited about these space monkeys. Oh yes. Yes. I think there's something like seven colorways, right? Whoa. Seven, I think. Yeah, I, that I sounds about right. I think there is like seven. And like, yep. and yeah. it's seven inches tall, I think. <laughs> Those yeah. Cool. That's cool. So, so uh, you know, one of the things awesome. that was interesting, I talked to um, Travis, who runs UVD Toys, and he was telling me that uh, part of how he decides how to make toys is he tries to make toys that he wish, you know, existed. And kind of you know he did like the evil eight fink which we talked about last week i think it was last week with mca it was like a redo there had been key versions but maybe those weren't didn't really nail the character and likewise this is sort of an attempt to be like the definitive space monkey right i guess if if i had to if i was being nitpicky i would say that um like i love the head like the heads on all of them i love but there's something maybe a little too realistic about the body. Mm. Um, Cause the head's very like, you know, geometric shapes. And then like yeah. you lose that once you go the neck down. The so body I, is very organic, right? Yeah. To, yeah. I almost yeah. wish the, the, the body mirrored sort of what's going on in the head. Cause I almost feel like they're maybe almost like two separate toys kind of together. Yeah. I can see that. I can see that. Ben's grimacing. I want to know why he's grimacing. I know why he's grimacing. Oh, why do you? Why am I grimacing? Well, so you know, uh, <laughs> coincidental development, parallel development. So, oh, uh, yeah. there is actually another Space Monkey coming later in the year from that was developed by Big Shot Toy Works, and it's a co-production now with 3D Retro. I think that's right. And uh, uh, but it's different. It, it, it's a different design. It's a little more stylized. It doesn't have shoes. Um, it's cool. I dig it too. And that's the, the problem is, is that we, we were doing this project and, and it's like, like we didn't, we were never told by Dalek about the other project. And then one day in the middle of production, we just found out. And it's like, hmm. damn, dude. You know, it's like, and I, like, I hate that. Like, I, I really, I mean, there's nothing I can do. You know what I mean? Um, so I know, I know that Clem has shared the sculpt of that. Is there any quick way to pull that up? I'm just curious, like, how different they are. There you go. Different. There you go. There they are. I oh, like the 3D oh, retro hey. one better. <laughs> is, I like previews. that sculpt. I like that sculpt better. There you go. There they are. 
this is this is what's coming out with us huh. and as you can see the body is more of the space monkey body you know there's there's no yeah. screws. it's like yeah the heads are like so similar yeah the bodies yeah. are completely different but that head is like it's a space monkey. There's not much. Well, the do. hole is pretty different, right? Yeah, but even the, the interpretation of the 2D space monkey, like being a 3D form, this is very similar to the to the other one. Yeah. So there it is. You know, Ben, if you ever made a space janky, I guarantee you it would be the only person putting it out. <laughs> or a space shard. I would never. I would a janky never space shard. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the, the people are asking the, the 3D retro ones. I believe they're also like six or seven inches tall. Oh, so even the size is similar. Wow. Yay. How many were there? When are those coming, Ben? Very He's soon. Coming. Very soon, actually. Okay. Um, nice. So, uh, you know, honestly, yeah. I think they're I think they're different enough that if you're a fan of they like, I think a lot of people will buy both. To be really honest. Yeah, and I think our I th actually think our price point is actually lower than theirs. Hmm. Okay. I think they're selling not... theirs for a hundred and twenty. Yeah. So I'm not sure. So that one twenty is the first blue edition, which is dropping this Friday tomorrow. But mm -hmm. um, as far as I know, that's a slightly premium price because he's signing and numbering each of those boxes. Oh, okay. uh, so the other is going to be the the fall editions will be cheaper. How much cheaper? I'm not sure. Gotcha. Hey ben, ben, have you talked to Travis about, I mean, does he even know, or like, does he know about yours, or does he know that there's sort of that, I like... Don't, I don't know, honestly. I mean, Travis is cool. You know, he's he's a good guy. We we carry his stuff at 3D Retro. We always buy, like, an exclusive color yeah. of, or we usually buy an exclusive color of stuff, of things that he's producing, like, even the upcoming... Um, God, um, Evil Ape, yeah. MCA, I'm sorry, MCA, yeah, figure. Um, we have a color of that. Like we, ha we have an our exclusive. Nice. So I, I totally have mad respect for uh, UVD and all that. But I honestly think it was like um, just, you know, just lack of communication, miscommunication, cross community, whatever it is that, um, you know, the, just the project was happening at the same time. I don't, Travis may not even, you know, Travis yeah. may not even know that we have it coming out. So, um, and well, I think I he think, knows now the question is, you know, sort of the question is when did he know, right? Um, maybe, I'm not sure he knew early on. Yeah. I mean, I don't think, I don't think either of us, I mean, yeah, it kind of sucks, but you know, ours was supposed to be out. Like, our, we were supposed to have ours out, like, months ago. Mm. And clearly, because of the situation going on with the world, uh, we got delayed. But, yeah, it is what it is. It's so, fun. Ben, I, I, I have some news that I'm reminded of that I need to share with you. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> on, on the live stream. <laughs> Go ahead. So, yeah. What else? What else are you going to so This, the, the Lotus Dragon that you and I, you know, are working on. Yeah. You're making another one. <laughs> yeah. It's a good robot. You know, here's the good news. It's, yeah. it's only like 90% the same. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's good. There's like a good 10% that's different. There's 10% so, difference, right? Yeah. So if you're, oh, a fan, good. Yeah, if you're a fan of the dragon, oh, you're going to like them all, you know, it makes it great. Right? Makes no difference. Is that the only difference okay. is the box? Actually, though, it's it's it's, it's yeah, just called fine. the Lotus Dragoon. It's okay. No one's gonna notice. It's okay. Great. Thank <laughs> you, great try? Scott. <laughs> what prompted that? <laughs> oh. No, actually, ben, you know what? Honestly, like I would never cheat on you like that. You know, I would only go to 3D Retro for all my my production. Uh, <laughs> and kid robot. <laughs> And yeah, and other places. And other places, right. <laughs> and anybody else who makes toys. Right. Right, okay, cool. <laughs> Medicom. <laughs> Anyways, um, well, um, thank you for letting us go through your stream there, Jack. Sure. 
pick out what's coming up. Uh, I think uh, I'm not broken. I'm okay. People are saying, you all broke, Ben. I'm okay. I'm good. But it is getting late. Um, and uh, it's been a long day, guys. It's been a long day, especially for Scott. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But um ice that wrist, buddy. I saw this. Yeah, I was about ice to that say, wrist. Are you icing your wrist? <laughs> I know, like twice in three days. Why? <laughs> um Decon is only three months away. You're gonna have to rehabilitate. Oh my gosh. Done with that pop shop business. <laughs> you know you love it. You know you love it. You can't I don't even wait. have things to sell and I want to go on pop shop. Like <laughs> when is the web version coming, Ben? I've turned you into their official spokesperson. Um, the web version of Pop Shop is going to be ready for us to beta test oh. next week. Oh, the Labubu okay. people are going to hate that. No, no, no. For for us, yeah. for us as a vendor, like oh. we're going to because right now we watch our show on our iPad, and that's like when you see Danielle sometimes like typing answers to people. Um, but it'll be great to actually have it on our computer as well you know so we can watch it then and then um and then after we test it we should have like the web version out to people probably like a week or two after that so i have a question i was thinking about you know i was excited because as people know it, it's iphone only now so having a web version has all sorts of benefits like even if they don't get an android version right away you can use the web version because a lot of people mm -hmm. most people have computers. and honestly i think the web version is supposed to be um responsive enough where you can pull it up on your android phone oh nice nice and use it on a mobile so the question i have is you know one of the kind of advantages of seeming advantages of mobile uh based stores is especially an app is they're pretty hard to bot does that does that sort of like invincibility or, or you know protection against botting go away when you move it to the web do you know? That's I'm just curious. We'll question. find out. That's a that's a really good question. Um, I don't know. You know, I think because it's more of an it, open standard with a web. So yeah, I, I think you would know better than me, Jack. Being me? somebody that's uh, written box in the past. That's a dirty lie. <laughs> <laughs> I love. I love that he says it laughing. <laughs> I, would never do I mean, that. I mean, I mean, wait, that is a dirty lie. All, All right, sorts of people getting called out on this episode. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think you at least know from your background of computer science, you know what's involved in writing a bot. Sure. Sure. Okay, so, and don't get me wrong, I have a comu computer science major too, so I do as well. I think you're right. I think in the sense of, is it easier to write a bot? Yeah, you're it should probably be. right. It should be. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know what the front end of the web application is running yet. Right. So I don't know what kind of things they're going to have implemented. Like, is it, you know, script blocking? Is it, uh, you know, certain, uh, certain front end? web language that prohibits it. I mean, a lot of people have taken things and block bots. I mean, Supreme kind of has been doing their thing for years and still, no matter what they do, they can't kill them all, you know? Right. It's pretty um, hard. So is there, an I, element, don't I don't know. I mean, look, I was a film major, so I don't know what you guys are talking about, but is there an element with pop shop where, since the releases are so kind of random and chaotic, right? That that would help stop bots because you don't know what's coming. You don't know when it's coming. Even if it's something like Ting that people are lining up for, you could position it at such a random time in the show that they wouldn't be able to. Well, the way that they, I don't know. The way that they do yeah. bots is usually the bots look for a keyword. Yes. Yeah, okay. Almost always. Yeah. So what happens is you can have the bot constantly hitting the site which one, eats up your traffic. So that's one. And two, um, you know, just, it, 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 it's, so it's like, it, let's say you set it for, um, you know, like uh, Keith Herring Bearbrook or something like that. So, um, 
let's let's say you know they put in herring bear brick as the keyword and that's all it looks for and then as soon as the keith herring bear brick comes up the bot just buys it yeah and that's it can't you mess with yeah. them then so if they're keyword searching could yes, you, you can could you on pop shop say okay we're going to set up something called the tickle ting and it's a piece of oh. lint that we're going to sell for 25 dollars. yes people do don't that. buy that like, buy the ting and so when it sees tickle ting it goes off and you just make 25 dollars yes yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, people That's people awesome. do that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you you sell the Keith Herring sticker, right? Or a Keith Herring bear brick sticker for three hundred dollars. Oh, who's going to buy a three hundred dollars sticker? No refunds, by the way. And um, then yeah, the bot buys it. Yeah. You know, you call it the the Hardy Har Har or something. Bear. Although, brick. if you're if you're a clever, so so right. But if you're clever uh i don't even know if clever is the right word if you think about it a little bit as a programmer who might want to build something like that and you know that that's out in the world what you do is you add an extra thing in there you check the price if the price is way off of what you think it should be then you, it's fake right true you or still like, sell, you can like still, somebody, still sell the lint for the same price as the thing. And then, you could yeah. yes you could somebody saying in chat just have kenny call it uh homeboy Bear brick homeboy. <laughs> Hi, you nerds. Homeboy <laughs> bear brick. Hey, you turkeys. Yeah. How's it going? <laughs> here's your, here's your bear brick homeboy. Go buy it now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. guys. So yeah. So yeah. it'll be interesting. Uh, we'll tell you more. But, um, the web, the web version should be coming in. You know, at least for testing in the next week and uh, out to the public. Hopefully, a couple of weeks after that. That would be great. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, so are we. Trust me. <laughs> All right, guys. But I the Lububu collectors are not. Oh no, they're gonna go crazy. <laughs> well, when is Lububu Series Three coming, Ben? Oh, it's Ben. You know? It's here. It's already out. It's here. It's been, I have a oh, blind right. box on the way in my uh, in my package. Unless that's nice. Okay. Yeah, cool. Crazy. Hardcore guys getting one. Janky, you were able, you were able to beat those uh, hardcore pop shoppers. Only on mm. only on the blind box. I, I I don't I didn't know what a Lububu was until pop shop, and then. <laughs> I bought, I got two that I really liked. And then the, there's two in the series three. There's only two that I actually like in series three. I like the one that looks like Pikachu. And then I like the sort of OG. <laughs> but they go right away. So I just said, after eh, this, I'll, and I got a blind box. So if I don't Oh yeah, like it, I forgot to say, you know, if people that watch it know that Ben opens up blind boxes. Uh, and then once you get to see what it is, he puts it on the, you know, to sell. And so the Lububus, I noticed that they were going instantly, right? Oh, so I was like, okay, I got to try. I sort of don't mind Lububus. I'm like, you know what it is? I was like, it's really that I'm old. But what it really is, is I was like, oh, so maybe it's that the FaceTime authentication takes time. So I was like, okay, fine. I'm going to do the credit card thing. I got all ready to do it super fast. And I still got smoked. I was like, Dude, it's ridiculous. nuts. Yeah. The, so I got, I got that one blind box open. Which Yay, I was you got the OG. And then I got, this is the one I really nice. wanted. And it kept selling out. And I got a blind box and it was in the blind box. Nice. Oh, that, sweet. So these are really the only two I was after. And then I, I like that Pikachu colorway. <laughs> so nice. I bought the blind box. We'll see what... I, I think, I mean, it's so fun to watch, though. People going bananas over the Laboobus. Yeah. I've only they been do. able to get this one. Ooh, that one's good, too. The only one. Clear green. Clear green. I, like, I like the character design. I like this. I mean, there's nothing about it I don't like. Uh, except you know, and what's amazing crazy. is that toy has been popular for a long, a long time. time. Yeah. yeah. Like years. Like literally like well, five years. It's good that it's hitting the States hard. You know, people are getting yeah. getting to know it. So we're we're more than happy to sell it. Yeah. So, over and over. Over and over. And over. And, over, and, over, and, over and trust again. me, we're going to run out of Series 3. Are you? Probably in the next like episode or two. Like, wow. We literally open up a case. And then we sell a case, blind box, and we could probably go through, I kid you not, probably, you know, if we put up blind boxes, there's about maybe a hundred people in the room that would all buy a case. Yeah. It's really? Blind boxes. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Wow. It's insane. And it's some of these Great. people like talking about bots, there's a couple people in particular who like every single one they get I mean, how are you that fast we call the person today because they're like yeah. no this guy's a bot this guy he is a bot or like we're like okay call him up and he's like hey 
how's it <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm hey, not slow far. beast, how's it going? And he's like, this is how I do it. And he's like, I walk over where my router is, and I stand here, and I just, just fly do that. Place. Yeah. Fast there's internet. There's a probably small, help a little, yeah. Small, there's a small group of people that are like, they're on it, like, every time. And yeah, so fast. That, yeah, so then there's other people like me and, like, other, other random people that are just like, there's so much frustration going on in the chat. Because they're like, oh, Michael got it again. Or yeah. <laughs> like, I think that's what we called. We called Michael. Yeah. yeah. And then they're so like frustrated because. Wait, Scott, have you been trying to pick these up too? So, you know, in the beginning I was. Um, because I was. Because more. Well, the toys are cool. But more than that, it's like. It's the sort of gambling part of it. Like, can I get it? Yeah. Like, am I going to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Aspect totally. of it. So, you know. Totally. You know. It's like a sport. Uh, Super addicting, yeah, to, to like jump in. And, but yeah, I, I mean, I gave up because those guys are too good. So now I'm not- I did give up, up too. <laughs> Don't give up. No, the I only the only chance you have now is the blind boxes because 10 or 12 of them or however many go up at once, you get a, you get a sliver of a window for no, your photos. I, I have another chance. Oh, you mean the closed blind boxes? The closed blind Nikki? boxes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I can see you have a chance there. Yeah. Hey, don't discourage people. <laughs> That's <Come> true. <laughs> What, All what, right, this goes off. We have a whole Labubu network happening. It, it is getting oh, late. It's nice. getting to eight o'clock here. We're we're getting way off subject. We gotta we gotta end this thing. Okay. So <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> thanks, Scott. Yes, yes. Um. Anyway, <laughs> thank you everyone for joining us for another live uh, Toy Geeks Live behind our desk. Hopefully, you enjoyed our banter and and. Uh, bitching about everything as we get older by the minute um next week it'll be pre-recorded <laughs> yeah right yeah this will all go away next week guys next week it'll just be kevin nobody else just kevin right kevin and cheetos kevin and cheetos. kevin and cheetos i don't know yeah. what to do with my hands <laughs> so <laughs> what <laughs> kevin <laughs> anyways guys uh don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share the episode uh, to all your friends. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at Toy Geeks BTC. Rolls right off the tongue. Yeah, that's Bitcoin. The Send us Bitcoin. That's when we used to do this behind a counter. You know, now we just do it behind the desk. So you yeah. should probably change it to BTD. And behind the Corona. Behind the Corona. Behind the monitor. <laughs> right. Uh, but yeah, thank you everyone. Uh, thank you guys for joining tonight. And uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we'll be on live again next week. We made it to the Woo! All right, guys. We will see you next time. Thanks again. Later. See Bye, guys. Thanks, guys. Bye.